here on the left hand side you can click to the 302 docs folder directly and what that will do is it will open up all of the individual unit folders and then also at the bottom a few of the standard documents the attendance the e-syllabus the policies and then the uh, revision contract what I really want to look at right now is the online syllabus so if you'll click that uh, you'll notice that it opens and uh, I'm going to actually uh, use this little small arrow to make the syllabus itself a little bit larger. So you'll see uh, everything's organized by rows uh, in terms of the date. So today is Thursday the 23rd. Um, a couple things that I was hoping that you'd read, the prologue and the introduction to the two textbooks, uh, the introduction to English 302, which you're viewing right now, and then a couple of assignments that uh, you will complete today just to sort of help me get to know you. Um, what I want to look at also is row four, which is really going to detail what you need to complete between today and next Monday, uh, both in terms of the readings um, here in these two columns, the lecture, which will be posted uh, shortly, the second lecture, uh, to give you a little bit of information before you complete the third assignment, uh, the routine message scenario. Um, and uh, a discussion board post that you'll also complete. So uh, I, what I want you to do is, is just to realize that this e-syllabus really helps you navigate the course material uh, in combination with Blackboard to better get all of that information uh, with, just in case that something happens to Blackboard that, that you can't access it or uh, you're working with a, an online system or, or something like that where you you know, you prefer to do the assignment without having to log in. So if in, um, after you uh, have completed the material in your, for today and you're looking toward next week, you read the assignments, you watch the lecture, um, and then you're ready to um, go toward the assignment, you can uh, click this link and what it's going to do is it's actually going to open in a secondary window the routine message scenario which is actual handout and the direction so you'll see there are two sections to this assignment uh, one is going to be reading uh, a letter and the second is going to be rewriting the letter um, this formal document is, is something that you can view but you can't necessarily edit um, at, but the great thing about Google Docs is that you can actually make copies of these handouts and turn them into editable copies uh, for yourself so the way to do that is to go to file make a copy which is right here um, and then what it'll do is it'll ask you to confirm it and you just say okay uh, it'll make a copy of that document you notice it's opening in another tab here in my browser uh, the standard name for that is copy of and then the original document name I'd actually keep that uh, because it's a really great way for you to reference what it is that you've completed and if you have the original document and also your response you can sort of uh, always search for those using the same na name so if you typed in um, a routine message scenario in the search bar in Google Docs it would not only bring up the original document uh, the assignment the handout that I would composed but also the copy or the uh, the version that you completed um, in addition so once you've made this copy uh, this is an editable copy that you can go in, uh, you can answer these questions uh, for number one, you can hit return, and you can type your answer here. Um, you know, you're more than welcome to reformat a little bit if you need to, uh, but they're pretty much set up so that it, it's going to be very easy for you to do that. Um, as you scroll down, um, you'll see that on this particular assignment there's also an image file um, from a scammed image that you'll be using as the basis for this assignment um, but it's great because when you make this copy you retain all of the original handout information and you're not working between two documents you're working with the original that I had assigned and then also your comments to it um, so it's really great and easy to work with and I want you to notice that here I've got all of those detailed directions so after you get out of this particular uh, slide rocket lecture you'll be able to go into this document and, and figure out how to do all this so don't worry about taking notes right now. Um, once you've completed the assignment it's a very easy to get the material out of Google Docs so that you can upload it to Blackboard. All you need to do is go to File download as and I do ask that everything that you uh, download it be in a PDF form uh, this is mainly because 
Uh, a PDF is a consistent format between any platform, whether you are on Mac or PC, um, working with OpenOffice or you know any other you know, platform. Uh, the PDF is something that always retains your format. It's it's a secure file, um, and it also allows me to give you uh, a particular type of marginal commentary that I wouldn't be able to give you. Uh, if you were using a Word or a Pages document. So uh, you just click PDF document. It will prompt you um, here uh, where, whether you want to open or save the file. I would save the file um, and just click OK uh, and wherever you want to save that. Um, and then once you have that particular download, you can just go back to Blackboard into the Unit 1 folder. Um, and as we go through each unit, you'll see Unit 1, Unit 2, Unit 3, Unit 4, uh, just a way to only put so much information at you at the same time. And you'll just scroll down. Uh, since we were completing the routine message scenario, you'll see that here. You'll just click View Complete, and then it'll uh, give you a prompt where you can upload that file, click Submit, and you're done. Um, I won't actually show you here because the instructor view is a little bit different than the student view and it's not going to show me what you'll see, but um, you can very very clearly see, I'm sorry, uh, that, that the link is there and made available for you. Once I have uh, posted commentary to you, which will be marginal, uh, you can go into the gradebook here also on the left hand side. You can download my commentary. Uh, to see what suggestions I would make and to see the, the grade that you received for that particular assignment. And if at any point in time you ever need to go back in and, and download your original assignment in the PDF form, you can go back uh, and view that file through uh, the individual unit submission. So that's really great and will be very useful for you in the final project. Um, I want to navigate back just to the online syllabus to show you. Um, if you were finishing that assignment, you've already made that PDF upload, uh, you would then try and follow the discussion board activity, the challenges post, which you'll notice here on Blackboard is secondary, um, right after the message scenario. And it really just asks you to sort of reflect on uh, your completion of that project. And this is going to be the space where we can talk about as a class uh, what worked, what didn't work, some of the challenges that you faced, some of the successes that you found, really as a way so that that the feedback between uh, you and the rest of the class is not just um, sort of informal and on your own, but that you and I have a dialogue as instructor and student, but then the class has a dialogue about what's working and what's not working. Uh, the discussion board is also going to be an opportunity for me to give everybody additional feedback. It's going to mimic that in-class uh, workshop style space that uh, an online course can sometimes miss, and also an opportunity to get to know a little bit more about your peers. Um, I'm not necessarily going to respond to everyone in here, but if I see some particular trends, um, some things that I want to comment on, additional material I would like to share, maybe additional uh, readings that you can do or videos that you can watch, just trying to give you my professional experience in a way that is a little bit easier to manage um, on a, an asynchronous level. Um, so that as everybody comes in and can respond, they can do that on their own time. So hopefully that's been um, a quick overview of how you can work with the Google Docs, how you can take those Google Docs, work with them in your assignments, download them as PDFs, and then upload them very easily to the Blackboard space. Um, if you have any questions, I have a huge resource pool of videos and online help features to help you work with Google Docs, but I think once you use it for a week or so, you'll find that it's a very, very useful, very, very wonderful tool for working with the documents that we're using this semester.